reaching around inside and uh, I was able to just feel skin. I, I believe it was a baby's foot and just pulled him up. And Green Bay Police Officer Sean Hamill is being called a hero along with two other officers after pulling a 23-month-old boy from a burning home over the weekend. The fire broke out early Saturday morning on Harvey Street on Green Bay's east side. The young boy was treated and released, but a couple of others inside the home were taken to a Milwaukee burn center. We don't know their conditions. Officer Sean Hamill joins us now in the studio to talk about the ordeal. Good morning. Good morning. Now, we, we don't want to forget about the victims, of course. I've been hearing a lot of people saying it was a great rescue attempt, and that's what we're going to talk about this morning. And we don't have that much information about the victims at this point, but let's talk about your experience. Uh, take us back to the beginning when you got the call and then arrived at the house. Okay, well, we just got the call about the fire at, a, at the residence and uh, the reports were that people were possibly still inside and Officer Brester and I got to the scene at the same time and as I'm um, pulling up I see people running all over the place and I went up towards the residence and there was one female uh, on the side of the house yelling that there's still a baby inside and she ran me around to a, a back window and uh, the window had been busted out and someone had already tried to rescue the I, I believe it was from that girl who had gone out that window uh, to escape the fire and so the window had been broken out already and uh, she said he was inside that bedroom so I broke out the window a little bit more to, and then uh, started to climb in and the room is just full of thick black smoke and, and uh, as I come up to the window I can hear the baby crying off to my right and you know, you just got to get in there now to get the baby out because I can see how thick the smoke is and you know, the baby's got to get out of there. And uh, Officer Brusser was just coming up by the window at that point as I'm crawling in. Uh, and he's yelling for me to make sure I'm okay as I'm going in. And I could just hear the baby crying. I'm going towards it and, you know, can't see anything. I'm trying to hold my breath. And after about five seconds, I get a good good breath of the smoke in and I had to go back to the window for some air. Before you go on, what does that feel like when that happens? Just overpowering. It just, you know, you can't feel anything. I mean, you can't breathe. You're just uh, a choking feeling. So you're unable to help at that point because yeah. you're not able to breathe. Does it feel like you're suffocating? Yes. Yeah, just, and then, you know, I went back to the window for some air and I was about ready to go back again to try to, try to get to where the baby was. And the, uh, the girl who had told us where the baby was uh, said that there was another window on the other side of the, of the uh, bedroom that we could, the baby was right under. Of course, there was an air conditioning unit in the yep. way. How, did, how long did it take to get that out? Uh, very quick. I would say uh, at, that, at that point, as we are going over to that window, Officer Jan Cord had, uh, came up to the scene as well. And we pulled down the air conditioning unit. You just ripped it out? Yep. It was just one of the temporary ones that's oh. you know, stuck in the window. <laughs> Plus, so. you have adre adrenaline working oh, exactly. in your favor at that point. So you were able to get the air conditioning Pulled unit out. out. There's three of you standing there? Yep. And then what happened? And then uh, we held the window open and uh, started to lean into the window. Uh, I think we probably got in about waist, waist into the window. As I'm leaning in, and she had told us that the baby was about a year old and trapped in a playpen. So I'm just reaching around trying to find the, the playpen because you know it's so dark you can't see anything in there and finally got a the edge of the playpen and pulled it towards the window and and then you know so it's more in front of the window now and and then Officer Brester and I are just reaching around in the playpen trying to find some kind of skin or just trying to grab a hold of the baby and I think and then at one point I believe I grabbed his foot um, I just felt skin and started pulling up and I was trying to pull him out the window and Officer Brester grabbed him as well and we were able to pull him out. Was he crying, screaming, uh, overcome by smoke at all at that point? Uh, you tell? He was just kind of coughing a little bit and you know surprisingly I thought he'd maybe crying and maybe unable to breathe at that point but he was seemed to be breathing fine and in surprisingly good condition. Moms and dads everywhere who are listening to this are thinking, "Yeah, you just you're you're just grasping for that baby, and we're we're feeling that with you as you're trying to mm -hmm. feel for any skin." Um, were you hurt at all? Did you, I mean you said you were overcome by smoke, but what about the heat of the of the fire? Did you feel that at all? And it, that's surprising, you know. Officer Brester said, "Is just standing outside the building, it was hard for him to breathe, and the, you could just feel the heat." And 
surprisingly as I went in I didn't even notice the heat it was just the smoke that overcame me and it, I don't know if it's just an adrenaline thing that you know you don't feel the heat and my wife said when I got home I looked sunburned from it but there's nothing I ever noticed. You got a lot of attention over the last few yeah. days about this rescue how does that make you feel? <laughs> I'm embarrassed or anything. You know uh, anybody put in this situation would do the exact same thing and you know, I don't feel I'm a hero. I was just doing what anybody would do. You hear a baby crying inside, you have to do something. Isn't that nice to know there's someone like that, someone like Officer Hamill there to help rescue your children if they're ever in that situation. It may never happen to you again, but you'll have this story, and the good thing is that it, it turned out okay for this little boy. Exactly. Well, thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for being a police officer and, and taking care of our community. Officer oh. Sean Hamill. And you can read more about him online, of course, fox11online.com.